Hello and welcome. In this Google training series, I'm going to show you in this video all the different kinds of media that you can add into a Google Form. So Google Forms is their survey tool, questionnaire tool. It's even a quiz tool and you can turn on quiz mode in Google Forms. So lots of potential uses for this, whether you are a teacher, administrator, or you're working in the district in a role that's not necessarily connected to instruction, you probably can find a way to use this. And the nice thing with Google Forms is that you can add all kinds of media to your form. So it can be a much more UDL friendly survey or questionnaire than maybe just your standard pencil paper or just one that has text-based content. You can definitely add text as you can see here on the example I have on the screen, but you can also add different types of media. So you can add pictures as a part of your question. Um, whether those pictures are saved on your device, you can drag and drop and upload them. You can take pictures on your camera, upload by URL from Google Photos, upload images from your Google Drive as well as just do a Google image search and add a picture there. So if I was doing a Google form here on types of dogs and puppies, then I could add that here. I can resize it as I need and have it there. All right, so I can add them there. I can also add pictures to maybe where it's not necessarily accompanying a body of text or a question. And I can do that by using the right hand picture toolbar. So you see here, it added it just below. And that's just a picture with a title if I want, not necessarily related to the question. I can also add pictures as answer options as well, which is really great uh, in a lot of different respects. So if you're working with littles or primary grade students that are still learning how to read, but they're very familiar with pictures, you can add images and that's how they can kind of rate their understanding or what the, what they think the correct answer is. It's also great for students who might be nonverbal to give them this option. Could be another great way to support just options for representation for students as they're learning a new language, as well as just supporting students, especially if there's complex vocabulary in the questions, to give them that additional option. So I would strongly recommend adding those in whenever you can. And you can just use Google searches. You don't have to have pictures saved in your device to do that. The last little bit that I will point out here in terms of adding media is that you can also add different types of videos. So you can upload videos here from your device if you would like, put them in Google Drive and then just use a URL. Um, or you can upload and search videos from YouTube and add them here to your Google Form as well. So the nice bit with that is that pretty much makes it so that if you want to have students watch a video and then respond to some questions afterwards, reflecting or checking their understanding, you can do that all in one place versus having students go off to different websites and links. So that is a little bit on Google Forms, and I hope that you find this tool to be super helpful. It's great for quizzes, activities, and just really good formative checks for students, as well as surveys and getting feedback from different stakeholders you might engage with.